Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in your day. Hope you're well, hope you're healthy. Uh, and yeah, welcome to some more online learning with Mr. Harris at CI School, Algebra 1 and Informal Geometry. So without further ado, let's uh, share some screen here. Get into the lesson. Ta -da. All right. So, um, yeah, do your math because you'll make more money 10 years down the road. That's what that says here. And uh, yeah, I have a degree in economics. And so I can teach both math and history, and I teach math because there is a greater uh, demand for math teachers than there are for social studies teachers. There's more supply of social studies teachers than is of math teachers, so that will help you uh, down the road. Do whatever you can, no worries. Uh, if you can't do everything, uh, you have credit if you were passing, so just start chipping away. Chip away, chip away, chip away, chip away. A thousand mile journey begins with one step. Keep just getting a little bit better every day. And over time, the theory of compound interest will lead you to great reward. So 30 minutes a day, if you get stuck, reach out. Do something else. If you're waiting for me to get back to you, there's the number, there's the email, Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, call, whatever. Google Hangout, I've done that before, whatever. So that's there for you. Time is shoot for 75%, but again, no worries. Do what you can, do the best you can, and do it again later. Um, okay, not form on map. Form is down. So shame on me. Let's uh, change that. Draw here. Red. No. That is out. So I'll just change that on that PowerPoint. All right. So on uh, that being said, do an informal geometry example. Do an algebra example. Call it good. All right, so clear all drawings. Go to the next slide here and formal geometry example. Low volume, volume, how much stuff you can fit in a container like water in a uh, fish tank, uh, sand in a vase. And box. All right. So volume. Change this up here. So uh, volume is volume is base area. Go back. Volume is base area times height. Yeah. There we go. All right. So volume is base area times height. So I'm going to find the area of the base. Um, base area. equals pi times the radius uh, squared. Okay. 
So that's how we get the uh, base area of a, the area of the circle because the circle is a base here. So we've got uh, pi. squared and problem says we can exact answer or use an approximation I'm going to go exact for now so the base area is 5 squared 25 and then pi and then we're going to multiply that by the height and the height is quite obviously hopefully not no worries there is the height so the height is six six times five six quarters is a dollar and fifty so six times 25 is one and that's it if you want to do the decimal approximation then it would just be 150 times 3.5 that is how that would go down either one of these green green for money money answers either one of these green answers would be correct so whatever you choose to use here i would use the pi because it is less work you'd actually have to do the computation for the approximation and really who wants to do more math Okay, so uh, informal geometry, that's an example for you. If you have any other questions, no worries, reach out and work on what you can, including stuff from the past and stuff from the future. All right, so that is that. Clear these out. And let's go to the next slide. For the algebra example, Choose, find all solutions that apply for this. So uh, if I am doing this, I am going to cross multiply and um, yeah, cross multiply and deal with that negative. But first things first, let's cross multiply. So if I multiply here, here and here and here and here then what i get is uh is this so let's do i do the first part with hyphen so i'm going to do that the first bit is x plus one And x minus three and x minus one. Oops. X minus one. So that is this uh, first zero that I do. That's going to take care of that, and that's going to equal um, x minus three and. I don't want to forget about this negative, so I'm going to make that a negative one. And I'm going to do this x minus 
dump the parentheses out. X, I'll put a squared there in a minute, minus 6X plus 1, and then X minus 3. Oops. I'm going to blow this out a little bit so we can get all that in there. Okay, that's pretty good. I want to tweak this a little bit. There we go. All right. So uh, that should be pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got the negative one. That's good. I squared minus one. Okay, good. So uh, now I'm just solving this problem. So first thing I kind of notice here is if I divide uh, both sides by um, by the line here, divide both sides by x minus 3, I'm going to get that to go. So if I go here, same thing here. Okay, divide both sides by x minus 3, and then that's going to go, and that's going to go. Okay, so um, then I can take it from there. So my next line would look like. I still got that negative one, so I want to put that in here, I guess. And then x minus x plus one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, oh, no, don't want that. Nah. So don't forget a normal square there. Draw. Okay, and then uh, this right here is, you can double distribute or see that it's different of squares pattern. So either way you do it, doesn't matter, um, but I am going to use different of squares pattern because it is more efficient. X squared, those terms will cancel, and you'll get minus one. And then I'm going to distribute the negative one to everything here. So I've got, I've got negative X squared plus six X minus. Okay, so now I'm going to solve this. And to solve all these quadratics, we're going to set them equal to zero. So that's one way to do it. So I'm going to get this side here equal to zero by doing some algebra and getting rid of what I can get rid of. Punt zeros and ones. So I'm going to I'm going to add x squared. I'm going to subtract 6x. And I'm going to add 1. And if thou shalt do it to one side, I'll show you to that. And I'm lining it up, writing in a little bit different order. All kind of the same. Uh, so line that up, line that up, uh, 
and then put that out there. Okay, so what do we see here? That's gonna go, that's gonna go, and that's gonna go. You're gonna get a big fat zero over here, which is what we're looking for, so we can solve this thing. That's gonna turn into zero, so that's gone. I'm gonna rearrange this in descending order. So x squared, two of them. Okay, you got a one here, a one here, uh, minus six. Okay, so now that we're here, factor time. So I'm going to factor this. And when I do that, that is 2x. And that factor is x minus 3. Both of those things are zero. So I'm going to set each one of those things equal to zero. And I will do that over here. Let's get some text going. So now I've got um, 2x equals zero. And let's see what this. Okay, solve both those things. X is zero. X is three. All right, so there's that. So that gives us our answer. However, there's one last thing that we need to check. We need to check for extraneous or extra solution. Extraneous could be spelled wrong. It's not a strength of mine. So if it is, my bad. Look for extraneous solutions. What are extraneous solutions? They are uh, solutions that don't work. Most commonly, they're going to make the denominator zero. And that doesn't work because that is not defined for our system of logic mathematics. Pushed too hard, even numbers got limits, as most F would say. So um, let's see. So are any of these extraneous? So let's look at this. So if we plug x equals zero in that, we get negative one, negative three, and or yeah, negative three. So that that's okay. This is good. That's a good solution. So that's a good right there. Uh, x is three. Well, if I plug three in here, I get I put three in here, I get zero. That is not defined. The denominator cannot equal zero. So that solution is out. So let's make that red. That is out. So that's an extraneous solution. Okay, so your true solution here is x equals zero. So that is your good solution. Okay, I hope that helps. Keep chipping away. If it's great, if you didn't, reach out and do what you can. So appreciate you checking in and uh, appreciate you checking in and all you're doing to make yourself better at math and stay healthy and engage with your families. So until next time.